Hey everybody, welcome to Psychology Element. Psychopaths are some of the most dangerous people in the world, yet they often go unrecognized in society. We might have the stereotypical image of a serial killer or head of a violent mob when we imagine psychopaths, but they're often blended in with the rest of us. In fact, they usually use their charm and lies to make themselves appear even more wholesome and pure than their peers. Unfortunately, it's after they've gained our trust that they begin to do the most damage. If you think someone you know, or maybe even yourself, could be a psychopath, keep watching, because we've got 13 clear signs of psychopathy coming up. Be sure to stick around until the end. Our favorite is number three, because it explains a fascinating study on psychopathy that blew our minds. We just had to share it with you. Let's get started. Number 13. Disregard for rules, laws, and morals. One of the textbook signs that someone is a psychopath is a lack of regard for laws, rules, and morals. Most people who are not psychopaths respect rules and laws and have a set of morals that they live by, whether consciously or unconsciously. Non-psychopathic individuals typically believe that cheating and stealing are not appropriate ways to get ahead, being relatively kind to others is their natural behavior, and that laws are in place to maintain an orderly society. In contrast, psychopaths often have little or no regard for these basic morals and laws that the rest of the world follows. Psychopaths make up 17% of the prison population in America, meaning 93% of American psychopaths are already in prison. This statistic might give you more insight into psychopaths' disregard of morals. Number 12. Superficial Charm and Charisma Psychopaths are skilled actors in their daily lives acting exceptionally charming and charismatic to attract everyone around them. They'll act like they have a heart of gold and that allowing them into your life will only benefit your life. Then, once your guard is down, they'll begin their toxic behaviors. Number 11. Pathological Lying Psychopaths are often pathological liars. Often they will fabricate blatant lies to give them the upper hand in either the workplace or relationships. They will distort reality to give them power and escape blame for their wrongdoings, often slandering their own victims in the process by acting as if they're the ones who acted maliciously. Even when presented with hard evidence that proves that they were lying, they'll continue making new lies to justify it and continue to reject any accountability. Number 10. Has a small range of emotions. Psychologists have identified five core emotions that are typical in humans. Happiness, sadness, fear, disgust, and anger. These emotions may range in frequency and intensity based on personality, but a typical human will feel these emotions regularly. In contrast, psychopaths report that they don't feel sadness or fear, but they do feel anger, disgust, and happiness. However, psychopaths feel happiness much more difficult than non-psychopaths. For example, if a psychopath was to get a gift that they've been wanting for a while, they'd likely feel much less happiness over it than a non-psychopath. Number nine lacks empathy and is callous. Psychopaths lack empathy. In fact, brain scans of psychopaths show that they have a reduction in functioning in their prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is our most evolved area in the brain and is responsible for things such as empathy, learning from past mistakes using reflection, and forming principles and morals. As such, psychopaths will act callously to other people, using harsh bullying tactics without any remorse. They'll act this way to anyone, regardless of their relationship with them. Their lack of empathy allows them to hurt others and not feel guilt or shame. By the way, if you're finding this video valuable so far, then make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and why not subscribe so you can keep learning more? It's free! Number 8. They are impulsive. Psychopaths often experience boredom when they're not highly stimulated. As such, they'll often act impulsively to fulfill their boredom. Along with that, they'll often act in drastic manners, such as spontaneously quitting a job due to anger or disgust without thinking about the financial consequences. Their impulsive nature is often hurtful to not only themselves, but everyone around them. Number seven, they bully and abuse even those they're close to. Bullying and abuse, especially gaslighting, is extremely common in psychopaths. Gaslighting is a lot like brainwashing, where they use lies, manipulations, and devaluing insults to make the victim feel as if they're going insane, that they don't know themselves, and that they're reliant on their abusers to survive because of their self-worth plummeting. Due to their lack of empathy, 
they are able to behave this way without any guilt or remorse. Number six, they act like a victim when immoral actions are caught. When they are caught for their immoral actions, it's not uncommon for psychopaths to act like the victim in the situation, regardless of the evidence. Whether they are directly blaming the victim of their immoral actions, or they instead create a sad, tragic story that justifies their immoral actions. Accepting responsibility when they've acted wrongly is almost impossible for a psychopath. Number five, they directly blame on others for their misfortunes. Even when a psychopath wasn't caught for acting wrongly, but they still experience hardship in their lives, they feel the need to blame others for them. Sometimes things happen that are out of our control, like getting laid off due to there being a short of work. Most people are upset initially and might try to blame the company, but eventually they accept it and move on. Psychopaths, however, often will blame others and hold on to the resentment, sometimes even acting vengefully instead of accepting it and moving on. Number four, narcissism and superiority complexes are common. Although not all narcissists are psychopaths, most psychopaths do have traits of narcissism inside them. They'll act naturally superior to others even if there isn't anything to warrant their inflated ego. In the mind of a psychopath who exhibits narcissistic traits, they often feel as if being better than their surrounding peers justifies their manipulative and cold-hearted actions. Similarly, they've also reported that those beneath them deserve to be scrutinized and mistreated. Number three, manipulation comes naturally. Manipulative traits are developed throughout the lifetime, usually beginning in childhood, and often come habitually. As such, they're basically professionals at manipulating people with their false charm. In fact, despite their pathological lying, psychopaths often present themselves as being exceptionally honest, good-hearted people. The scariest part is that people often believe it because they're such good actors. In 2017, a study was conducted in Texas by Shannon Kelly and other colleagues. They gave psychopaths a self-reported questionnaire, measuring how kind and good of a person they are. Then. They gave their roommates, who were unaware of the psychopathy, the same questionnaire and asked them to rate the psychopaths. Unsurprisingly, the psychopaths rated themselves as highly honest, good-hearted, and not manipulative. What is unsettling, however, is that their roommates also reported the psychopaths as being good people too. This provides evidence of how well they have fooled people through their manipulations. Number two, multiple sexual partners and short-term relationships. Psychopaths often have a pattern of unstable relationships and multiple one-night stands. Their need to relieve their boredom often leads to risky sexual encounters without any intention of meeting them again. Along with that, based on the previously listed items on this list, it's no surprise their relationships are short-lived. Either the psychopath becomes bored and believes they could do better than their partner discarding them first, or their partner breaks up with them due to their abusive and toxic behaviors. Regardless, Unstable relationships throughout their lifespan is often an indicator of psychopathy. Number one, they seek revenge. Psychopaths seek revenge far more than any other personality disorder or mental illness found in other individuals. Along with that, psychopathy predicts revenge more than any combination of the big five personality traits. The saying, don't get mad, get even, is often the psychopath's mantra. Interestingly, however, psychopaths report little aggression or emotional reaction when initially provoked. Instead, they usually act cool and collected, only to scheme and plan their revenge later. Whether it's a plan to ruin a reputation or to damage their property, hurting a psychopath's ego will often result in some form of revenge. We hope these signs helped you identify whether you or someone else you know is a psychopath. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any psychology videos. And make sure to check out our Dark Personalities playlist for more great psychology tips. And thanks for watching.